So last year I ran into a problem with all this corn that I'm planting. Um, crows started to pick it when it was about an inch tall. They just walked down the row and pick it. I tried bangers and I still use those, the, any bird scaring devices, but it really didn't work on crows. It works good on blackbirds. So I reached out to some old time farmers and asked them, hey, how do you scare crows away? You know, other than a scarecrow, which really doesn't make a lot of sense because the crows are used to me out in the field. And one old farmer told me just bluntly, shoot them and then hang them upside down. It'll scare them away. That's what the old timers used to do. And I was like, what? I said, yeah, shoot them, hang them upside down and you won't have no crow problems. Well, I had to do something, but I didn't want to shoot the crows. I like crows. I think they're interesting birds. And all they're doing is trying to make a living out there. They're eating, they're feeding themselves. So that's not right to kill something for it'd be like somebody shooting me going to the grocery store. Um, so I come up with an idea with the help of my mother. She's an Amazon person. And we bought these fake crows off Amazon. Um, I just bought this batch of 12. I think it was like $15. So last year I bought a set of three. And the first morning, the crows went absolutely nuts when they saw them. They were hanging out in the orchard, just cawing, cawing at the dead hanging crows, hanging upside down. And the crows just went away. They never come back. So this year, I'm getting a head start on them. And I've got a few already out in the field. Um, we had the corn come up this morning our first notice it this morning. So I'm going to show you how I put these together. Um, try to get it on this. I'm using my phone to film this. I, my GoPro battery is dead. So what you'll need is a fake crow. You can buy some. I don't know if this one, I don't think this one has them, but it actually has two different sized birds too. There's this batch had two. The other set that I got, and if you've got a small patch, it would probably work. The other batch actually has wings that, that go in and they look really realistic. Um, the crow's a pretty smart bird. It's gonna figure this, you know, okay, it ain't got wings or folded. We're good to go. I guess you could put some fake wings on it, but you'll need this. I use trot line string. You can buy this at Walmart in the fishing section. It comes in like 200 foot rolls. This stuff is a miracle on the farm. I use this to lay off my rows and it lasts two or three years out because it's supposed to be in water. So it, it really holds up. You'll need a cutting device. I'm gonna use my Leatherman. And then you'll need a pole, uh, something to hang them from. And what I like to do, if you can see it here, these are old bent electric fence posts that I, I, I bend them. Over the years, I lay off my rows with them. I, what I'll do is I'll bend an angle on them and I'll use that to hang my crow from. So what you want to do, it's probably 18, 20 inch piece. Cut it. And then the crow here, he's got little feet and I will just tie it on like so. I can't make knots. I was a horrible boy scout. Okay, just tie it like that. And then they come with these little wires to, I think people put these like on Christmas trees. Of course, that would be kind of a strange Christmas tree, but they're for decoration. Um, like that. And then I just tie it to this. Now I'm gonna put, I'm trying to make these last. Once the, once the corn's up six, seven inches, they usually don't mess with it much more. Then you gotta worry about groundhogs. But, and then it'll hang like this in, in the field. Just, I mean, what would you do if you come across and seen a bunch of bodies hanging? You'd stay away from the area. Same principle with the crows. Um, another thing that I'm gonna try this year and again, off Amazon is some reflective tape. And I think that is more for, well, it's like a ribbon. 
think this is more for deer purposes. So I'm gonna get that roll there. I don't want that rolling off. So shouldn't do this on a windy day. So I'm gonna get me another piece, a little shorter this time. And then cut it. Dogs are coming over. And then I'm just going to tie a piece here, like so. Maybe not. Need a little more string. I do not know how this is going to work. I'm hoping it'll work on some of the smaller birds. The songbirds, blackbirds, they don't seem to pay attention to these as much they keep their distance but they will land in parts of the field so that's what this is for and i'm going to run these again on these poles and just do a little little something different so i'll get these tied up and i'll bring you back in a second okay so i got them in the field um that's what they look like staked they just swing and you can see i've got five in this patch and the patch goes a little further down um and then i've got three on the edge here where i have uh vitality which is what's in here um it is uh three protecting also i run a owl decoy now the thing with an owl decoy is you have to move it every day or at least every other day now i'm falling behind because it's been so wet, I haven't moved that one. But you really need to move it to make, the, make it convincing. If you leave it in one place, it's not gonna work. They'll catch on, it's like, hey, he ain't moved in three days. So they'll catch on. So you need to move that. It's very convincing for the smaller birds as well. And it looks good out in the yard too. So I've run one for years, move it around and it does better. So hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, no crows were harmed, so that's good. And we're also keeping the crows out of the patch. I haven't seen one since I put mine out, so it's gotta be doing something. Have a great day and like and subscribe and follow us on Instagram and TikTok.